Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to take a look at stable uh, version Dream Studio, which is another text-to-image AI. Uh, we're going to compare it a bit to Midjourney. Now, I already experimented with it quite a bit today, and uh, well, I can tell you that it's, well, it feels completely different. Uh, I mean, if you ask me, the bottom line is that I personally, for what I create, I prefer Midjourney results by far. Well, I can describe Midjourney result by maybe I can say uh, cleaner, uh, more accurate, and much more creative to my liking, and especially the mix of different things that yields really unique and interesting results compared to what I see here in Dream Studio. Keep in mind that, of course, I haven't tried everything, and some results might be better compared to Midjourney. It depends, of course, on what you want to achieve. So, for example, I tried to tell Midjourney to do a up down view of horses i just couldn't get it <laughs> as much as i tried but with dream studio poof instantly and it's great it really looks good and with the same description when i put it over the image it will be me, uh, me journey so this is me journey what it generated to me and this is the one generated by uh, dream studio actually some of the things looks more realistic and it seems like me journey goes more artistic compared to Again, Dream Studio, that things look just more realistic. It seems like it, based on my input. Same input that I compared with Journey and Dream Studio. By the way, this is a copy of a uh, text that I did uh, for one of the results that I really like in Me Journey. So this is what I get in Dream Studio. And on the right side, you can see what I got in Me Journey. I mean, I love the team in Me Journey. I mean, what's that? <laughs> oh my God. The difference is just huge. But of course, expected. I try another one. To see what I get and again the more I try the more I see the huge difference between the two and actually I see why actually why me journey is so unique and and uh, why many people love the result that it actually generates I'm just well they're just different you can see more information about the prompt how to use it uh, me journey has many more features by the way uh, but you can see it still understand uh, arts and uh, I just explained to you how to use different things, but again, we journey have many, many more features. It also happens where I didn't say something plural and it just generated many characters, the same image. It happened several times. With the beat journey, it was very consistent. I usually got just a single one unless I said something plural. Here is another example. And on the right side, what me journey generated. It's about me journey that just generates very well-defined uh, images. It looks like a professional result rather than something that was kind of a mix in a weird way. Here is another one, me journey on the right. As you can see, the Dream Studio is more realistic, whether me journey is more artistic and unique, very creative. And I felt that throughout when I try to generate things that I use the same keywords or sentences in Mid Journey compared to Dream Studio. And I tried by the both with very simple words or more complex sentences. And again, more or less the same results. You can see the difference here as well. By changing things, changing the settings uh, in Dream Studio, try to generate more, you know, just to see whether it's well or just getting different pathing that just look different, but uh, sometimes, of course, it does. You see different effect, depends on what you do. But again, comparing Mijoni's result to what I got in Dream Studio, again, it's a huge, huge difference. Again, here is another example. And let's me move to Mijoni. And you can see Mijoni results on the right side. Again, Mijoni looks less artificial. Not that it's <laughs> perfect, generating perfect images. There are many refreshes that I need to do sometimes, but it's much more impressive in that aspect. And in terms of their creative results than Dream Studio. But there are some results that actually turn out to be quite close, by the way. I mean, I'm not saying it's every time it's like that. Some results actually I saw some over kind of an overlap. Here is another example, me journey on the right, Dream Studio on the left. Here is another one. Again, me journey on the right. Dream Studio on the left. Again, for creating very cute things, I think it would be very hard for me to do it on Dream Studio, whether in Mid Journey, it's a piece of cake. Well, literally. 
Yeah, so basically I try different things and try to kind of, uh, of course, step up of my comfort zone for the things that I enjoy to create and try to add different other keywords. The result is still more or less the same. Uh, kind of uh, things like, it just appears more like patched up together where the image journey is kind of mixed so well and it's so convincing. And of course the result just appears just more unique, very, very creative and you can really go crazy and, and you can see what actually other people are creating, just mind blogging. I mean, if you just look at, for example, what we see here, the hot one, let's look at the top, the results are insane. It just looks like a professional artist actually made them because it just, of course, again, there are exceptions, but there are so, there's very high chance that you can actually create something that looks absolutely incredible. And I can see myself actually achieving this type of sophisticated creativity and such a very convincing and really amazing results with uh, Dream Studio. No, yeah, I still need to spend more time with it. And of course, it's not the only ones, there are others. But right now, Mid Journey is my, well, my, my home for AI art, basically. Um, so, again, some of the results were really nice, but most of them weren't to my liking. And it doesn't matter how much I refresh, the, the way they actually, the algorithm took the image rendering to it just that particular direction is not something that uh, made me enjoy. Where the Mid Journey just, it's just like you found a magic fountain and everything just you play around with it, it just generates some crazy, crazy beautiful art. Even if you write the simplest things and the more you play with it, the more crazy things and beautiful things you can create with it. And uh, this just shows the difference. There are differences, but it doesn't mean that Dream Studio doesn't have advantages compared to Midjourney at certain things, but I had to discover them. <laughs> I had to discover. So this is it, just a quick comparison. Uh, again, this is my first time trying it, so keep this in mind, I might miss a few things. Uh, by the way, this is one thing that were quite similar to Midjourney when I generated it. I actually uh, find some of those images to be even better compared to Midjourney at certain things, but again, overall, uh, Midjourney was, for me, just led to much more creative, cleaner, and more convincing results overall. So tell me what you think if you try Dream Studio, and you could try it, by the way, yourself. Um, and see if you like it. Basically, we have a few credits you can try, play with it. If you like it, you can subscribe, but again, it's up to you. I've got the link to it in the description of this video, so you can try it out yourself. And that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Consider leaving a like and subscribe, maybe. See you on the next one. Cheers.